What's the temperature of uh, freezing in Celsius? Do you know, Shane? Uh, zero degrees Celsius. Okay. Well, this is a very sensitive thermometer. Mm -hmm. And you can see the reading on there. What does it say? 5.9 degrees Celsius. Yes, 5.9. Just changed to 6 there for a second. Yeah. The reason I can say that is on the back, there's a little window over here where I can I read see. the same thing you're reading in the front. Okay. And what we're reading is actually the temperature at the bottom of the glass because that's mm -hmm. where the probe is. Right. So when you are holding a glass of ice water or soft drink or something, mm -hmm. you know that at the bottom the temperature is 5.6, 5.7. Okay. Slowly raise the probe now. The temperature is going down. Yeah, 4.3, 3.6, 5.3.5, 3.4. Down just a little bit more into the. If, if we were actually freezing the ice, then it would be at zero. But mm -hmm. right now, we're sort of having the ice float around among, the wa among water over there. Right. So it might not get right to zero. Notice, by the way, that it's colder at the top than it is at the bottom, right? Uh-huh. That's very, very important because that means that because ice floats, mm -hmm. the top of a pond gets cold and freezes, while the bottom can still be water at what temperature? At 4.5, 5 point something like that, yeah. right? And that means the fish and plants can live underneath the ice because right. there's air, you know, there's okay. air dissolved in the, in the water and it doesn't freeze. I see. Okay, so what is the temperature of boiling water in Celsius? 100 degrees Celsius. Take the probe. Okay. Over here I have boiling water. You can check that. 95 degrees, 96 degrees. 96.2. Hey, it's going down. 95. But how, how come it's not reaching up to 100 degrees Celsius? Yes, how come? I thought you said it was 100 degrees. Yet we are proving without a doubt that it is only 95. 0. 0. 0.4, 0. 0.5, 0. 0.4. Think about this. When you boil water, you are adding energy mm -hmm. from the stove right. into the liquid and you're changing it into a gas and the gas is bubbling up. See all the bubbles? Yeah. And okay. the molecules are flying off into the air. But air is pushing down on top of it. Right? Okay. Yeah. At normal atmospheric pressure, there's a lot of air pushing down on it. But if you take away some of those air molecules, then what, it doesn't take as much energy to make the water change from a gas, from a liquid to a gas, right? Right. Okay. So the temperature would go lower. Right. In fact, when you get way up on top of a mountain, it would get uh, much, much less than 100 degrees. As a matter of fact, you can use, what's the, what's the reading? 94.9, 94.8. You can use that to tell what the altitude is right here. You can? And that seems strange? Here. Yeah. Well, look. Here is zero altitude and 100 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. That's at normal atmospheric pressure, in other words, the amount of air pushing down, at sea level. Right, okay. okay. Now, as you now go up in altitude, you're going to drop in temperature. And what's the temperature right now of the boiling water? 94.6.7. Well, I'll call it 94 something. Go look at 94 and see what the altitude is. It's about 1,000 meters. About 1,000 meters or a little more. As a matter yeah. of fact, what's the altitude here? 1,049 meters. So, so you see, close. you could tell, yeah, by the temperature of the boiling water, what the mm -hmm. altitude is. You can see when you go way on top of a mountain where the air gets real thin, mm -hmm. uh, the temperature of boiling water might be way down at 90. Yeah. And people often say that you can't boil eggs very easily at the top of the mountain because the, the water isn't as hot. Now, if you, you don't have a pressure cooker, I assume. No, we no, don't. Most people don't have it anymore. Well, a pressure cooker is just the opposite of what we're doing. They now put a cover on it and make the pressure increase. So what's going to happen to the boiling temperature? It's going to increase going to as go well. Up. Yeah, and that makes the co food cook faster. Oh, I see. So next time someone says, what's the temperature of boiling water, what are you going to say? 100 degrees Celsius under normal atmospheric pressure at sea level. Very good.